Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class. Happy evening, kids. Hey, how are you all doing? Everyone's doing great? Yes, that's great. I welcome you all for today's session. So we are meeting for the first class for this March month, isn't it? So are you all excited to learn a new craft? Yes. Okay, before we go ahead, I hope you just had a look over the submission process and it's clear to you all how to make the submissions, isn't it? So did everyone understand how to make your submissions? Can I see a thumbs up? Wonderful. So what class are we having today? Children, anyone's aware about it? Yes, what are we going to learn in this new month? Yes, we will be learning See, last month we learned origami, isn't it? So this month we'll be learning flower craft, yes? So you all know there are different types of flowers, isn't it? How many of you love flowers? Did you ever think you could create different flowers? Yes? So those who have no and those who don't know, so let's join together and learn different craft in terms of flowers, yes? So in today's session, you will be learning, we will be creating a beautiful flower using the so small strips of paper. So you all know whenever you craft, right? You have some scraps, isn't it? You know what do you call scrap? What do we call scraps? So if at all you've taken a 15 by 15 origami sheet, like if you have taken just for about 10 by 10 you have used. So you have the remaining sheet, right? So those are called scrap. So these strips of paper you can use and create some beautiful flower. Yes. So are all my kids excited? Are you all ready with the material list for today's session? Yes. Can I see your thumbs up, please? Wonderful. So let's look into the material list as well as what we are going to craft in today's session. Are you all able to see the? Are you all able to see my screen? Yes. Okay. So let's begin. So this is the flower what we are going to craft today. So don't worry if you have any other color, no worries. Go ahead with this different color and let's learn this craft. So shall we begin? Let's look into the material list. We will be needing two A4 size origami sheet. So here I've chosen a pink color and green. As you all know, for the stem part, we usually use the green color, a pencil and a ruler, a scissors, a stapler and a fevicol. So those who are missed out with any materials, quickly just go grab and come back soon. I repeat, we are using two A4 size origami sheet. 
So you can choose any color available with you as I have taken pink. For the stem part, please use green. If you don't have, then you can choose a brown color or any other color. A stapler, a scissors, pencil and a ruler and the favicol. Wow, I can see almost everyone's ready for this session with the materials. Wonderful. So let's begin today's session. Just take the pink color origami sheet or whatever color you have chosen along with the ruler and the pencil. So what we'll be doing here is we will be placing dots in order to draw the straight line. Yes. So just take the ruler and the pencil. Just place the way ma'am is done. Do you all, are you all able to understand? Yes, we just took the first origami sheet. You may choose any color available. Place the ruler. We will be placing dots, yes, at every two and a half centimeter children. You can take two and a half centimeter, that is 2.5 centimeter and place the dot. 2.5, again 2.5 distance in between two dots. So start placing the dots. So this strip measurement can vary children. You can even take thin, like today I'm teaching you with a broader one, 2.5. You can take however, how big flower you need, yes? So based on your design, your creativity, you can change the measurement. So once you finish placing the dots at the top, similar manner, place the dots at the bottom, 2.5, again, follow the same 2.5. Repeat the same step till you reach the end of the sheet. Slowly, children, be very careful, do it neatly. So did everyone finish marking with the dots on both the sides? Yes. Did everyone complete? I can still see few of them doing it. So let's wait for our friends and then let's continue with the next step. Yes. Did everyone complete with placement of the dots on both the sides? Now the next step is We'll be joining both the draws, both the dots and drawing a straight line. Make sure you hold the scale straight till it. Just follow the dots we have marked and draw the line. See how ma'am's doing? The first line, follow the same till you reach the end of the sheet. Slowly. Ma'am says, bingo. So do you all observe, I finished drawing the straight lines. Yes. So you can finish it in the same manner. I give you all a minute and then we shall continue. Very slowly, children. I hope everyone's using a wrong ruler. And please don't be so serious. Carry a smile on your face when you're learning. Yes, that's like a good, very good children. So did everyone finish drawing the strips? Yes, have you drawn the straight lines? How many of you all say bingo? Completed. Shall we continue with the next step? So what we are going to do is, okay, I can still see a few of them doing. Okay, till then I can just, let's recollect the steps, what we did. Yes, we took the origami sheet, that is A4 size. We placed the scale. So we started placing the dots for about 2.5 centimeter. Others, those who have completed, you can just listen to ma'am. Those who have finished, you can, I mean, those who are still doing, you can complete the children drawing the straight lines. So we started placing the dots at every 2.5 centimeter. 
on both the sides that's on top as well as the bottom just for us to draw the straight lines easily same thing 2.5 distance place the dots at the bottom with the same distance so so the two dots are the distance of 2.5 cm so quickly you finished with the dots yes this is just the repetition for those who have just joined and once we finished with the dots just take the ruler and join both the dots and draw the straight lines just draw the straight lines make sure you're doing it very slowly but do it perfect children did everyone complete now take the scissors and cut down all the strips make sure you follow the straight line follow the straight line and give a cut children very slowly be careful when using the scissors till you reach the end slowly just follow the same strokes and cut down all the strips slowly follow the lines and give a cut did everyone complete still doing it don't worry mom's also doing so finish it till the last strip just three more to go yes are all the smiles on my kids face wonderful now what's the next step did everyone finish just assemble all the strips together yes did everyone everyone complete see we finished with cutting the strips assemble all the strips together <clears throat> make sure it's not up down it's all of the equal length fold it from one corner to other corner marking the center point take the stapler and staple it up exactly at the center make sure it's not unequal it should be equal children i repeat see we finished cutting all the strips what was the next step we assembled all the strips together fold it from one corner to other one and then exactly at the center staple it up slowly till then be careful make sure you assemble all the strips equally and staple it up now 
just keep the fevicol ready with you now it's all about creating the petals so did everyone complete till here let's hold on for a minute i hope if almost everyone's must be completed let's wait if those who are still completing let them finish and then let's work out together yes done shall we begin so we finished stapling now what is the next step creating the petals so see all the eyes on the screen how ma'am is doing first i applied the glue at the corner of the strip exactly at the center where we have marked just hold it for a second so that's how we are going to create the petal see just have a look children once again i repeat see we applied the glue at the corner and folded it exactly at the center that is one fourth part yes so these are only the right petals what we are creating so finish start along with me now complete the first petal children the same manner how ma'am's done yes just complete the same way how ma'am's done let's do it together apply the glue and fold it exactly at the center part so we got the first petal here now repeat the same process for all the right hand side petals don't overlap it over the first one just have a look we finish with the first petal hold on until it's stuck apply the glue for the second one and paste it underneath the first petal children see be careful how ma'am's doing just have a look see where the second uh, petal will go we took the strip move the first one and below the first petal the second petal is be placed so this is how we are going to get the petals look at the screen so same manner repeat it till you reach the end so continue along with ma'am apply the glue fold it at the center point that is underneath of the previous petal don't overlap it see here we got the three petals can i have a look what my kids have done wonderful children very good i can see almost everyone is doing along with ma'am so let's continue the same process and finish all the petals so apply the glue again repeat the same step one below the other start creating the petals yes so four petals are done repeat the same method apply the glue fold it and stick it below the previous petal make sure you're holding it firmly your petal shouldn't pop out so you see half of the flower is being created isn't it just make sure you do it slowly beautifully children repeat the same method till you reach the end wait once you finish only the right hand side petals slowly continue the same method so i guess almost everyone must be coming to the end of the half of the flower very slowly children just understand the concept and do it slowly slowly 
So this is the last strip of mine for the right hand side. So I finished completing the one fourth part of the flower. Did my kids complete? Yes, kids. How many of you all says yes? Don't worry. I'll wait for you all. Do it slowly. So the last strip comes here. And stick it up. So we finished with the one fourth part of the flower. So let's wait. Yes. Let's wait for our friends to complete. How many of y'all say is bingo? Did you all complete it? Yes, isn't it fun? Yes. So did you ever think using the scraps of the paper and the strips, you could create a beautiful flower? Yes. So this can be used like, you know, if you have a flower vase at home or you can even create a paper bouquet, anything. And then just add on these colorful different flowers. Yes. So these flowers would definitely last ever because it's made out of paper. So you all know real flowers, they have a minimum amount of days for its life, isn't it? So these flowers would be evergreen. And when you feel it's become a little crampy, you can rechange it and create again the new flowers. So done. Did everyone complete till here? Shall we continue with the next half of the flower? So let's begin. Just reverse it. The same method on the opposite side, we are going to do it. So if you feel there is excess of flower, I mean excess of glue, you can remove it. Now start pasting it up for the opposite side. Apply the glue. and paste it. Repeat the same step till you reach the end. But you're doing it on the opposite side. So see, look here. For the previous one, what did we do? We had pasted it from right half to the center half, correct? Same thing on the opposite end. So here I reversed it. If you're doing it from the left hand side, again, left side till the center point, you're creating the petals. Be very careful. Just move slowly and make sure you're pasting it exactly at the corner of the flower. Very slowly, neatly complete it, children. Repeat the same step until you reach the last petal. Apply the glue. Paste it below the previous petal exactly at the center point. Yes. Finish the same process. Be very careful as your petals must be wet. So hold it firmly. And make sure you get the proper circular shape for the flower. Slowly, children. So here, what you can do is the number of strips you can take according to your choice as well. If you want to make a very big flower, you can add on some more strips. Yes, if you want to make a little thin or a broad. See here, I'm just showing you how will our flower look once completed. So I haven't applied the glue just for y'all to show I'm doing it. So then you can continue again with the same method. Apply the glue and paste it. So here just for the placement, I was just trying out to show it to y'all. So repeat the same method, children. Apply the glue, paste it again underneath the petal. Be very careful. Do it slowly. Complete it slowly. It's 
slowly finish it up. So we are almost at the end of the completing of the petals. Make sure you hold it for a second, children. Otherwise, your petals would pop out because it's wet. So slowly hold the flower and then continue again with the end part of the petals. So three more to go. Let's complete it. Very slowly, children. Hold it firmly for a minute. And repeat the same step until you complete the last petals. And here you could see the wonderful flower. So here we come to the last petal. Ma'am says, bingo. What about you, my kids? Did you all finish it? Yes. Just the circular shape slowly. Don't worry if you don't feel, if you feel there's something in the center. Yes, just complete it. I'll give you all a minute. Let's wait and then let's create the stem part for the flower. Yes. I hope the energy isn't down creating the petals. Yes. Let's, let's rub your palms. Rub, rub, rub. Those who are finished. Let's gain some energy. Rub. Place it on your face. So do you all feel the warmth? Once again, let's do it. And then let's continue with creating the stem. So others, those who are doing it, till then they would complete it. Rub, 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 rub. Rub it very fast so that you can feel that hotness. Warmth. And place it. Yes. So you all have the energy again. Did you all finish it, children? Let's continue. Keep the flower aside. Take the green sheet, a pencil and the ruler. We'll create the stem part. Before we go ahead with the stem part, to cover the center edges of our flower, we'll just cut two circles. So just fold the green sheet for about three, three to four finger space. Yes, just fold it. Take the pencil. Why we are folding? Because we need two circles. So just draw a dotted line. And create the circle. So you all know mamas taught you all how to draw the circle. Yes, draw the dotted line. Join the dotted line and complete the circle. Now trim the circle, children. Cut the circle slowly. Very slowly follow the steps. We've got two circles, isn't it? Complete it slowly, give a proper curve shape. So one will be pasted on the top, another one at the bottom. So this is how we are going to paste it. So what you can do is you can take the glue, apply the glue to the circle and paste it up. Repeat the same process if you wish to on the other end as well. So you see when you don't worry if you are for the first time you have created and the petals are all, a little up and down. No worries. So you wish to you can paste the circle even at the bottom. Or you can retain the same way as well. Once the stem is ready, we'll be placing it inside it or 
the petals. Yes, you can keep this aside. Take the remaining green sheet. Did you all finish? So here I have pasted it only at the one side. You can paste it even at the bottom, children. Keep it aside. Take the remaining green sheet. Take the measurement for about 5 cm length and 21 cm width. Yes. So we'll be creating the stem now. So take the length for about, the width is 21 and the length would be 5 cm children. Just draw slowly and cut the strip. Mark dot again. See, you see how ma'am's dividing. When you have a long distance, always place the dots and draw, then draw the straight line. Any time children, not only in craft, any sketch, any drawing you do, place the dots and then draw the straight line. So that will help you all to make the line equal and it will be easier as well. So cut the strip now. Slowly cut the strip. Now our strip is ready, isn't it? Place the remaining sheet aside. Did everyone complete? Have you all cut the strip? Are all my kids ready? And then let's join together to create the create the stem of the flower. So let's apply the glue at the corner and start rolling it up. So you all know how do we make those pipes or the straws, yes? Just roll it slowly till you reach the end. Make sure you're holding it very firmly on both the ends and it should be very much pointed. Very slowly, children, till you reach the end. Follow the step. Yes. Make it very thin, children. Apply the glue again at the end of the strip and then complete your stem so that it's stuck to each other. So the straw doesn't, or the stem part doesn't open it up. That's the reason we apply the glue at the start as well as at the end. Now, holding both the corners, you can still roll it to make it a little thin. If you have got a little broadness, so you can roll it continuously to make it a little thin, and then our stem would be ready. Roll, 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 roll it up. Cut the corner edge. So now, just insert it where you feel you could exactly at the center of the flat, the one fourth and the other half. Divide it equally and apply the glue to the stem and paste it. Slowly, children, exactly divide the flower into equal half and then insert the stem. Here we finish creating a flower. How's it? So I could see that my kids, it would be a different color flowers, isn't it? You would have created in various different colors. So this flower, what you can do is you can create four to five, tie a ribbon and you can give to your loved ones. Yes. So this, is, this will help you all to create a little small bouquet for your loved ones. Yes. So during any occasions, you can create these flowers. And without the stem, you can even create a buntings. Yes. Just the strip flower, like you're only the, before the stem, how the flower was. Same way, four to six, you can create and you can decorate for your birthday parties. Yes. So these flowers has various different purposes where you can make use of it. So did you all enjoy learning it, children? Yes. But you all know I would be waiting for all your submissions. Before I end today's class, let me tell you in the next class what we are going to learn. Yes, so you all know, right? We have four classes for each month, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes. So what are we going to learn in the second class? 
any guess yes children any guesses what we are learning in the next class what do you want to learn in the next class can you all tell me yes anyone wants to learn something new i mean something different anyways we'll be learning something unique always in all the four classes yes just give me a minute so what we will be doing is we will be creating some tulip flower in the next class yes so you would definitely enjoy making this cute tulip flower yes so you all know the tulip popping of the paper 3d effect so you all know we always when we create some craft we take a paper that's a flat piece and then once we create an object it gives us the three dimensional effect isn't it so in the next session we will be learning to create beautiful tulip flowers so please don't forget and do join in for the next session now kids that's all for today i hope you all had a great time learning this craft yes so now what's the next step i just told please have a look over the submission process now yes i'm be expecting everyone submission as you all know mom will be choosing the top 10 entries and those will be featured so don't miss this opportunity and do submit your entries have a look to the submission process see you all again in the next week take care children bye bye hi everyone we are excited to have you here in today's fun filled learning session at yolo here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class as a first step go to live.yolo.com you can use any browser to access this site On this page you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the submit your work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you last attended which could for example show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance if you are Satvik Kumar choose that name and then choose the class for which you would like to make your submission for example if you've attended the new year's masquerade party session and you'd like to make the submission for this class click on the submit your work button below that and then upload the photo you've taken choose the image from your phone and click submit You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder Your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at yolo_app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions.